the Congress uh, social media, of course, went uh, viciously trolling, had been trolling me. Congress still has got a lot of importance to play in national politics, but the Congress should look beyond the leadership of Gandhi Nehru family. There has been a lot of nasty, I am saying it in, a, in nice words, mm -hmm. but tera baap ka aukaat kya hai? Mm -hmm. Is tera ki language? Mm -hmm. Still, I ignored it. Just because he happened to my father, and just because he said that Rahul Gandhi is yet to mature politically, mm -hmm. saying such nasty things, uh, I mean, I can't even utter them. And having sexual connotations, uh, implying he was a sexual pervert and what not. I decided to write this open letter, to write an open letter to, uh, uh, to Congress, to Rajiv Gandhi, sorry, Rahul. to Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi nyaya ka baat karte hain. तो पहले तो न्याय अपने जो उनके आसपास के लोग हैं उनके द्वारा जो अन्याय हो रहे हैं पहले उसको वो ठीक करे गांधी रिगार्डिंग योर फादर एंड यू बीइंग सब्जेक्टेड टू अब्यूज बाय अ कांग्रेस सपोर्टर व्हाट वाज द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द लेटर इफ यू कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट वेल सिंस माय बुक ऑन माय फादर केम आउट प्रणब माय फादर अ डॉटर रिमेंबर्स and uh, in that book, I actually uh, taken a lot from his diaries and certain observations about Rahul Gandhi was not very complimentary. He said that uh, he is yet to mature politically and he doesn't seem to be serious, his frequent absences, uh, you know, his travel abroad. So, I mean, about this, a few comments made, has been made. So there are a lot of praises about Congress. There is tremendous praise about Dr. Manmohan Singh, even Sonia Gandhi. Indira Gandhi was his mentor. There is a full chapter on this. Mm -hmm. But nothing, everything was ignored. And the Congress social media and some of the Congress leaders also uh, had been uh, speaking against, including my father. And the Congress uh, social media, of course, went uh, viciously trolling, had been trolling me. A few days back, this has been happening since about a month. A mm -hmm. uh, few days back, uh, on the sideline of Jaipur Literature Festival, I made a statement in an interview and asked about, I was asked about the views about Congress, current status. So I made very clear that I am a Congress person. Congress still has got a lot of importance to play in national politics, but the Congress should look beyond the leadership of Gandhi Nehru family. And a person, a leader who has been the face of campaign of Congress in 2024 and 2029 and led the party to a disastrous defeat. Putin and again, another 2014 and 2019, uh, two, two, uh, two Lok Sabha elections. Mm -hmm. And another defeat is around the corner. Everybody knows about it. Mm -hmm. So again and again, does it happen in any other political party? Does it happen in BJP? Anyway, so that was my contention and I gave my view as a free citizen of a free country, as a responsible citizen, as a concerned Congress supporter. Mm -hmm. But well, since then all hell broke loose and all kind of abuses had been heaped upon me and not only that, dragging my father, the whole contention of that argument that as if Congress is like a uh, zamindari of Gandhi Nehru family mm -hmm. and uh, they are like the feudal lords who just dole out positions to people without any consideration of merit. And my father also didn't deserve anything. He was just, you know, at the mercy of Gandhi's, he became what he became. Fine, that is also acceptable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't accept it, but and there has been a lot of nasty, I am saying it in, a, in nice words, mm -hmm. but tera baap ka aukaat kya hai, is tera ki language. Mm -hmm. Still, I ignored it. Then yesterday, there has been one uh, uh, Congress supporter. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether he's officially part of social media or not, but he's followed by very senior leaders of Congress. Mm -hmm. He's followed by many, many you know, prominent social media guys with whom I have worked with uh, in uh, my Congress days, in my uh, stint, short stint in Congress. Mm -hmm. So obviously, he's very much entrenched into the system. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, you know, I mean, he went totally berserk, saying all kind of nasty things I can't even, and na nasty with having sexual connotation. Mm. I mean, talking about not only a very senior leader of your party, late Pranam Mukherjee, 
who was an ex president of india just because he happened to my father and just because he said that rahul gandhi is yet to mature politically mm. saying such nasty things uh, i mean i can't even utter them and having sexual connotations uh, implying he was a sexual pervert and what not mm -hmm. so then i decided and i yes i responded to that tagging jairam ramesh tagging supriya srinath tagging rahul gandhi uh, congress handle but there hasn't been any response so then i decided to write this open letter to write a open letter to uh, uh, to congress to rajiv gandhi sorry rahul. to rahul gandhi mm -hmm. and and tweeted it and i also tagged media i also tagged the congress president uh, kharge ji i also tagged various senior leaders mm -hmm. because i am not going to take this kind of sexual uh, harassment and abuse not only being said against me but also against my father you know i am not going to take it lying down uh, since you also talked about rahul gandhi seems to be talking about the nyay but you demanded nyay from him for the correct assassination which you have to go go through and your father Uh, uh who has been the president of india has to been subjected to that uh, uh, the use of language uh, any response uh, on your letter you have got ma nothing nothing so far nothing officially i don't know i haven't seen my uh, twitter since morning because i was busy composing the letter and i was very hassled but i don't think any senior leader has yet uh, you know condemned it officially I don't think any senior leader has. Pawan Khera has reached out to me over the phone and said, "Oh, you know, he's apologizing this and that." So I told him very clearly, an apology is not enough. You know, this has been being done in the name of Congress. You know, Congress should uh, then lodge a FIR against him. And I haven't seen, and I'm not aware as yet mm -hmm. of any kind of tweet or statement from any con Congress leader condemning such language. Is there a keep, but like sexual. कैरेक्टर कैरेक्टर असैसिनेशन खाली मेरा ही नहीं मुझे भी बहुत ऐसे बातें बताया गया कि मैं लीचर हूँ और क्या क्या अंग्रेजी में सॉरी हिंदी में ही और मेरा फादर के बारे में मतलब ऑलमोस्ट इंसिनुएटिंग दैट ही वॉज अ सेक्शुअल पर्वर्ट यू नो सो ये मतलब बर्दाश्त मैं करूँगी भी नहीं और किसी को भी करना नहीं चाहिए तो इसलिए मैंने डिसाइड किया कि ये लेटर मैं लिखूँ और राहुल गांधी न्याय का बात करते हैं तो पहले तो न्याय अपने जो उनके आसपास के लोग हैं उनके द्वारा जो अन्याय हो रहे हैं पहले उसको वो ठीक करे तो फिर फिर जाके जनता को सामने न्याय की बात करे यू ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन द लीडरशिप ऑफ राहुल गांधी एंड यू सेड आफ्टर दैट इंसिडेंट एंड योर कमेंट्स यू हैव बीन बीन विद विद दीज काइंड ऑफ कमेंटेशन एज वेल Uh, how do you look at it um, as a uh, party? Because you question the dynasty politics as well. Do you believe uh, it is because of your statement uh, these kind of remarks have been made against you and your father? Of course, of course, it is because of my statement. Uh, this kind of state, uh, uh, this kind of uh, nasty uh, statements are being against not only me but against my father. You know the problem with Gandhi family and their followers today. that they think that it is a personal fiefdom congress is a personal fiefdom mm -hmm. but for me i'm sorry i grew up in a congress family my grandfather was a freedom fighter been jailed many times was an active congress worker my father has spent his life in congress i joined congress and contested election in 2015 when it was at its lowest ebb mm -hmm. and i worked for 6 years for the party to the best of my ability for me congress is much beyond any individual or any family congress is much greater than that and if a particular leader is not being able to uh, provide leadership to the family again and again and again and again he is uh, failing why shouldn't the party look beyond the leadership of rahul gandhi or or the gandhi nehru family they have done enough for the party uh, uh, the nehru family has en done enough for the uh, country as well as for Cong congress party and a, in, a, and the grateful nation has paid its debt by making three prime ministers and five congress presidents in the post independence india from one family but you know one has to move on one has to move on and just you know like if congress supporters if they feel that you know it is just the personal jagir of gandhi family and they can do whatever they want and everybody is should be eternally 
grateful them for generations you know perhaps this is this mentality this is this psychology you know which is uh, one of the root causes of the denigration of congress today uh, since you uh, written a letter uh, you have been aggrieved by these comments which have been made uh, what would be your immediate demand if i may ask my immediate demand is firstly congress leaders should condemn it they at least they should condemn it i am not even asking for an apology but at least they should condemn it because it is being said aga- uh, i mean uh, against their one of their most senior leaders but if they also believe that pranam mukherjee was being ha- uh, you know handed over everything as a dole and he did- didn't deserve it then uh, then they are most uh, you know welcome to keep quiet but at least they should condemn it and i think i don't know what is the legal provision of it but as it is being done in the name of as if as somebody is a congress supporter even congress should also officially lodge a complaint against him uh, you have been very uh, uh, critical of the party as a well wisher itself uh, how do you look at the future of this party well to be very honest as it is now i do not see any future and i do not see and i'm telling it people ask me that you know people think i'm joining bjp no i am not joining bjp i have quit politics i don't have any interest in joining any other party and openly i have said many times i'm a hardcore congress person i'm no less a congressy than sonia gandhi or rahul gandhi or anybody else i am a hardcore congress but is this congress party true upholder of congress ideology i mean that is something this is not indian national congress which fought for freedom this is not gandhi's congress this is not pandit nehru's congress this is not even indira gandhi Ra- Ra- uh, rajiv gandhi's congress not even sonia gandhi's congress you know this rahul congress is leading is just destroying everything last would be uh, another development which has happened today uh, uh, in 2019 modi government conferred your father bharat ratna and today uh, chaudhary charan singh and a co- senior congress leader uh, pv nasema rao uh, will be conferred the bharat ratna you know this is i think a fantastic news and i heard it from you only because since morning i was so disturbed to look into the news and you have made my day you know conferring uh, bharat ratna of course chaudhary charan singh ji also but especially to pv nasema rao and being a congress person and the way pv nasema rao was ignored in his party been sidelined in his party when yesterday only i tweeted there was a, a, a post from a official social media uh, handle uh, of a person uh, and there were list of all the congress prime ministers but pv narsimha rao was missing in that yesterday only i posted it so i think this is absolutely fantastic he deserved it he was the person who ushered in economic reforms in india but congress and especially the sonia gandhi uh, sonia gandhi nehru family sonia gandhi and her children never even acknowledged it and they did not allow his uh, mortal remains to enter icc after his death you know today also he is ignored within congress i think it is absolutely fantastic magnanimity and graciousness of narendra modi's government to confer to recognize uh, the greatness and the contribution of a prime minister who belonged to congress who was a former congress president pv narsimha rao to confer bharat ratna on him